Pre-COVID-19, in an average week, the unemployment system in Michigan would see 5,000 claims. Over three weeks, that's 15,000 claims. Think of it as this 12-ounce can of pop. And then this cup is the system that handles all those claims. It's well within its right and ability to handle that. If you pour it a little too much, it might overflow, but it's an issue that can be handled. Well, in the last three weeks of March, this is essentially how many claims they got. 54 times more than normal. And if we pour it into the exact same system, guess what happens? It makes a mess. And now I have wet shoes. Kevin, this is Poseyville Road. It's normally a major thoroughfare through into Midland, and it has a bridge that goes over what is normally a river. But now it is just part of the Titabawasi River, and it just shows a sliver of the damage they're seeing here in Midland from the flooding. Also included are increases to funding special education and at-risk students. Both of those saw increases in her recommendation, not weighted like we'd like, but definitely increases and we would benefit from both of those as well. The math should be simple. You give a flat rate to each district for each student they have across the state and you call it a day. But it's not as easy as that because the student body isn't as easy as that. Not every student has the same needs so it doesn't cost the same to educate them. That's why a flat rate wouldn't work. Now the per pupil formula could work but the state has to look at them per pupil. And we all know that each student has different needs coming in. So in order to meet those needs, it takes different amount of people and resources. Two years ago, we met Ian and his pumpkin patch. The five-year-old at the time was raising money, selling pumpkins, trying to afford a diabetes dog. Well, he did that, and now this season is the first one Gunner gets to help him selling the pumpkins. It just feels good to have a dog. I always wanted a dog. This isn't just any dog. Gunner is a diabetes alert dog. He can smell the sugar in Ian Unger's blood and can tell if it's too high or too low. He will paw you like this on your leg and if you annoy him he will bark and he get and he will get louder and louder until he breaks your ears if you don't give him a treat he works on average five to twenty minutes faster than ian's medical monitor and that makes a major difference for a young kid with diabetes my stomach will feel like it's about to explode i'm about to flow up my entire guts that's the newest symptom it used to be shaky legs and barely cannot, and like, gotta, and like, can't walk. Now the two are inseparable and back to growing and selling their pumpkins. These two are perfectly wound. This, they're nice. Yeah. These pumpkins are all grown by Ian himself, and at a young age, he knew the key to pumpkin sales. Niceness and cuteness. And now as a veteran salesman, he's adding more than just a cute dog to his sales pitch. Oh, well, she's a mascot, because she's cute. And I have a strategy, a very good strategy that works. In Sand Lake, Eric Lloyd, 9 and 10 News. It was Thursday when the charges were made against 13 men in a plot to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer and potentially kill her after that. But it's a plot that she has known about for the last few weeks and living with as she continues to do her job across the state. It's been uh, a wild 24 hours for us, but for you it's been a few weeks. I guess, what was your reaction as you started hearing the details, the planning, they're going separate states and buying these explosives and such? I, I mean, it, it's, it's infuriating that right now in this environment, there are politicians that have huge platforms that won't condemn this activity. In my um, comments yesterday, I cited a speech by Ronald Reagan to the NAACP talking about this very thing back in the 80s, and it's still a reality. And no politician should give comfort or safe harbor to groups that are intent on intimidating or wreaking violence on other Americans. They're hate groups, they're domestic terrorists, and we need to all stand together. And I know there are people of goodwill on both sides of the aisle, although um, I'd like to hear more of, from those people who need to hold us all to a higher standard. Is this going to change how you approach your job? I know security logistics are still private, but I mean, when you go out there, how you carry yourself knowing that something like this was boiling underneath? No, the fact of the matter is I have a job to do. I'm gonna do my job. I'm also going to make sure that I've got great allies in the legislature who work with me instead of work to undermine the agenda that we have around improving our schools and cleaning up our water, fixing our damn roads, ensuring that everyone has a path to skills. And that's why I'm here in Traverse City. Governor Whitmer has been holding these campaign events across the state as she is trying to campaign for House Democratic candidates to try to get control of the House to help her get legislature through and get some more friends in the Capitol. In Traverse City, Eric Lloyd, 9 and 10 News.